See, that's why I got confused yesterday, because uh, the mayor introduced the best bowler, and Saviat was trying to explain this to me yesterday, and all I can do is say, is that five or ten pins? But anyway, <laughs> never mind. Um, and and I, I want to say I'm delighted to see Doug, uh, Doug Ford and Shelley Carroll sitting together in the front row here. I think there's room here. You know, some of the things you hear about over there at City Hall, they could be negotiating something very important just now as we speak. Right? If you want to encourage that to happen. I had him on the radio yesterday with Paula Fletcher. You just never know uh, around here. You just never know. Uh, may I uh, also uh, congratulate Guyane and, and uh, all uh, the teammates and at this uh, stage welcome up somebody who the mayor made reference to because to have partners uh, in a venture like this is very important. These kinds of tournaments can't happen without the support of uh, people in the business and professional community. Uh, and Amal Ranayaka is the chair of the CIMA, the management accountants, and he's going to come up and say a few words now. Amal? Thank you, John. On behalf of uh, CIMA, the Chartered Institute of Management and Accountants, I would like to welcome all of you to today's event. I would assume that CIMA is a familiar organization for most of the cricket community present here today. But for those who are not familiar with CIMA, CIMA is an internationally recognized professional body of management accountants. In fact, we are the largest body of management accountants in the world with 195,000 members and students in over 100 countries across the world. CIMA has been working in partnership with the City of Toronto since 2005 to engage the city's youth through the game of cricket. I want to thank Mayor Ford and General Manager of Parks, Forestry and Recreation, Jim Hart, for their continued support to strengthen CIMA's long-standing partnership with the city. It was only last year as a result of an initiative of Councillor Doug Ford, that CIMA planted the seeds for what is being formally announced today as the CIMA Mayor's School Cricket Tournament for the CIBC Trophy. I remember that in 2011, we had around two weeks to organize the school tournament, but with the support of Councillor Ford, we piloted the tournament with about 20 school teams, and this was well received by the schools and well covered in the media. Today, we are delighted to have expanded the tournament to include the Toronto Catholic District School Board and also to welcome CIBC as our lead financial sponsor to support school cricket. Thank you, CIBC. We truly appreciate the support we received from the chair of the Toronto District School Board, Chris Bolton, and the chair of the Toronto Catholic District School Board, Anne Anderton. Without their support, we would not have been able to coordinate an event as large as this, year, this year's event is going to be. Of course, one cannot speak of the success of CMAS cricket initiatives without acknowledging some of our key supporters who are here today. I would like to recognize Tom Mihalik. Tom has a big heart for young people and is a good friend of CIMA. Mike Power, editor of Toronto Sun. Sun has promoted CIMA's, CIMA Mayor's Trophy since its inception in 2005. Toronto Police and TTC, partners of CIMA since 2005. And two of the strongest teams at the CIMA Mayor's Trophy. And today, represented by Chief Bill Blair and TTC CEO Andy Bison. Thank you both for being here. Councillor Adam Warren, a veteran, veteran cricketer and a big supporter of the game. Thank you. Yeah. Trustee John Hastings and Annie Appleby, Superintendent of, T of the Toronto District School Board, for their leadership last year to launch the pilot tournament.
Kelvin CEO, Ross Bryant, and Blaine Felix were our, were our contacts in organizing this event, and we are very much appreciative of their support. We could not have managed the administration of this event without their support. Vinod Sharma and Adil Askari, the two of you are key in coordinating this event. We thank you for your support. Finally, Ranil Mendes, the chief architect of this initiative. Stand up, Ranil. Now let me turn our attention to the young cricketers of the future. I want to start by congratulating Guy Ferdinand for his exceptional performance at the ICC tournament. You're an inspiration to all Toronto school cricketers. <laughs> to the girls cricket team from West Humber, congratulations for becoming the first girls cricket team to register for the tournament. We are confident that many other schools will follow your lead. We also have the Torrance District School Board Champs, the York, York Memorial CI. Congratulations also go out to Smithfield Middle School and Woburn CI for their wins last year. Woburn is the undisputed leader in, in city cricket, and I'm sure they will want to keep the number one spot in this tournament as well. To all the school cricketers who are here today, we wish you the best. May the, may the spirit of cricket prevail. Thank you. Thank you, Amal, uh, for those words, and again, for the support that uh, your profession is uh, providing to uh, this uh, great event. You know, where are the news media when you need them, Mike? I mean, we, we had the, we had Adam Vaughn come in. He was announced to the counselor, and he came in and was 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 then embraced. He and Doug Ford and Shelly Carroll all embracing each other in the front row. I can see the cross on headline now. Carroll, Vaughn, Ford, embrace all issues resolved. <laughs> but nobody's here to take a picture of this. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I'll be reporting on it on these Talk 10 this afternoon, I want you to know that. Uh, thank you, Amal, very much for those words and for all the support that uh, you've offered. And again, the same can be said of CIBC, of course. They've uh, given this award, they've stepped up big time. They have a lot of people here today to show their support for this uh, Mayor's Cricket Tournament. And uh, if you could join me, please, in welcoming Raza Hassan, the Senior Vice President of CIBC. Thank you, John. Mayor Ford, Councillors, Fellow Sponsors, players, friends, and fans of cricket. It is my pleasure to be here on behalf of my colleagues at CIDC for the launch of the SEMA Mayor School Cricket Tournament and the new CIBC trophy, which will be awarded to the winning team in each division. I'm also very personally uh, glad to see so many young people coming here and, and see the future stars of cricket. I'm sure Toronto is going to produce uh, next uh, leaders in cricket, and I'm looking forward to that. At CIBC, we are proud to invest in initiatives that matter to our clients, our employees, and Canadians of all backgrounds. One of the key pillars of our sponsorship strategy is sport. Because we know that sport connects families, foster communities, and strengthen nations by bringing people together and promoting greater inclusion. I was just talking to Chief Blair about, about that and how we at CIBC are so committed to sport because of all those reasons. Cricket is one of the world's most popular, rapidly growing sports in the world and played in over 100 countries, particularly in South Asia and the Caribbean. With such an enthusiastic global following, it's no surprise that cricket's popularity is growing exponentially in a city as culturally diverse as Toronto. <coughs> C 
CIBC is so proud to support this inclusive event that will continue to foster the growth of cricket in Canada at the grassroots levels and to engage some of the sport's youngest participants. In addition to this event, CIBC proudly supports a number of other cricket events in GTA communities as well as being the presenting sponsor of India Premier League and International Cricket Council match broadcasts through our partnership with Rogers. And I'm sure a lot of you have been watching IPL and, and seeing our commitment there. We are thrilled to partner with SEMA, with the City of Toronto, and with Toronto school boards to give students from all backgrounds, some of whom are here today, a chance to experience the excitement of the game. On behalf of CIBC, good luck to all the student teams that are here today and will be participating in the tournament and we look forward to awarding the CIBC trophy to the champions. Good luck and thank you.